Hello there and welcome to another tutorial with me, Simeon Beast. You've actually seen this one on one of my previous drawings. If you've watched the one on Panda, you would have seen this. Uh, I'm going to show you now another commission piece I've had. Um, this is an interesting one because this is actually uh, a piece that was commissioned uh, a long time ago. One of my very first pieces that I did, um, way, 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 way back, before I became an artist. And I was an aspiring artist at the time, and I was luckily, lucky enough to um, have a part in a competition to do a cover for an artist, for a musical artist's um, album. Now, um, you may be familiar with this person, you'll see their name appear at the top in a second, and um, you might be familiar with the food item as well. So we'll just go there. You see at the top, food item. Now, um, this person obviously is very well known, um, and I needn't probably keep you in suspense much longer. His name is Meatloaf. Me technically, Meat. Loaf, Mr. Loaf, with meat as a first name, and I was actually very uh, lucky to have had a part in this uh, competition because I was merely a teenager at the time, and um, everyone in the uh, the area that I was living was uh, up for this competition. I was picked from all the people. Um, and I was picked because I was the most talented and um, that area was called England and I was the most talented artist in England at the time and Mr Loaf had an album called Bats Out of Hell and what you'll see is that I, I drew him here in the centre um, this is Mr Loaf in the centre and um, you'll see this is fairly similar to what he looks like now, but he looked a little thinner back then. And um, I'm just drawing his leather jacket here, familiar leather jacket that Mr. Loaf wears. And um, he was really big on the music scene back then. His Bats Out of Hell was a really popular song. And he since went on to do the the other one, somebody do something for love or something. And he he did that, which became very famous as well. But back then he was known for Bats Out of Hell, and um, here he wanted to be seen with the fire of Hades behind him. He wanted to be seen with uh, you know the the horror and spawn of. Uh, vengeance and mayhem and uh, but music importantly so I thought I had on these musical accompaniments around him so you can see him looking at them he's thinking ah oh, music yes I might be bats out of hell which I'm drawing in the background now spot them spot those you see I may be bats out of hell but I am at heart a musician and I must admit, this didn't look as photorealistic as my later works. Bear in mind, I was a teenager at this time. But look at the bats. They're unbelievable, indistinguishable from a photograph of a bat. And you can just see they're coming out of hell. Look at that behind him. That is the literal Catholic hell. That is the... You know, the, the Pope would say, you're going to go to to hell in a handbasket. And even back then, I used to sign my work. And um, I sent that off to Mr. Loaf's production company. I never heard anything from them again. So I'm assuming they just went on and used it uncredited, which is was often done back then in the 70s. Fair enough, you know. Um... And um, a few weeks later, I phoned them to say, did you receive my work? And they hung up on me. So I'm again, again going to just assume that this, this is a very common practice in the music industry. People do work and it gets completely uncredited. 
and no doubt this was on the front of probably his album I don't know I never never bought any of his music I can't stand it so but um, there you go that's that's my story for, for one of our, my very first well it was my very first commission for Mr Loaf back then and um, so you can see even then the talent I had and if you can aim towards something like this then who knows one day maybe you could be an artist as well thank you very much and um, enjoy the rest of your day thank you <laughs>